Well, you know, what seems to be a working model in the Philippines and a lot of the developing world is if you want to cure environmental problems, you have to combine your approach with addressing things that are maybe more immediate over there like public health. So if you come in with a public health agenda as well as environment, uh, that seems to, to be the ticket. Uh, and. Uh, what really struck me in the Philippines is that they come much more naturally to the idea that of course you have to control population as well as your per capita impact. Maybe because their per capita impacts are so much lower than those in the U.S., but I found it much easier, I found them much easier and more familiar with talking about we need to do something about population than in this country. Uh, the, the reason's a little different. They have higher rates of population growth, lower per capita footprints. We have, you know, relatively low rates of population growth, but huge footprints. But uh, it was easier to talk with people in that, quote, uh, backward, undeveloped country about what should be a burning issue here than it would be to, in, in this progressive, advanced, uh, world-class country. So uh, that's what really stuck with me is, they understood immediately when I said, uh, we've tried to clean up a river where I live for 30 years and we haven't succeeded and population has increased 15 or 16 times in those years. They said, well, there's your reason. They don't say that here. Population? No, it must be we need more advanced sewage treatment. So, uh, yeah, I had to rethink who was backward and who was not when it came to population. Well, this multi-pronged approach that I saw in the Philippines to focus not just on environment, not just on population, not just on health, but the three, PEH, population, environment, and health, there and in Madagascar and Kenya, across a lot of the developing world, that model has been proven and proven time and time again in pilot programs. And what was lacking was the backing and the, the financial resources to scale it up. I mean, I think we've got an answer there. Not the answer, but a, a real important answer, but it's got to be moved up from pilot projects, you know. But they have really proven that the, the population environment health thing works. I was convinced. Well, the immediate problem was the foundation, the Packard Foundation that had been involved had seen its resources diminish when the tech bubble burst. But I think uh, the U.S. certainly was not backing it nearly as much in, in other wealthy nations. And, and I think it's partly a, a case of getting the word out. Uh, I think it's also in the Philippines a case of, uh, of uh, making an end run around the Catholic Church, which controls everything. And it sounds like things are sort of coming to a head there now. Uh, that was a real problem there, but, but worldwide, I think this is a program or an approach to a lot of developing world problems that, that works. And, uh, you know, I can't think of a better place for countries like the U.S. to put big resources, because I, I think it would be cost-effective.